a year concerning the minister. We are ungrateful. You may not like me. There are young people who I met here. I came here small. Then you was a little fella the first time I came. But thank God he's still here. And there are some who just back talk in the church. Go ahead. Go ahead and back talk the church. You will never be saved. No matter where you go. Church jumping. Because you, you, you don't like what's going on here. So you go to the next church. Anywhere you go. There will be problems. The devil is in every seven day in this church. Where are you even to go? To sit down in another church and hear another sermon? Huh? You're leaving and going because you don't want to do God's work? That's the, big, the bottom line. So we hide between visiting. So you go so this week and you touch our next church the next week and you touch our next church and my friends, you're doing nothing for God. That's what you're doing. So I was working hard whole week and you can't even keep the Sabbath, you can't even set up just give God praise and you see it in church. And God has been so good to you. Your lips can you walk, man. But they know all the songs of the world. Me care if I get mad this evening, my friends. I don't care if I don't come back tomorrow. If one person shop in Daniel's shop to play the piano and I have to preach and Daniel alone is in church, I'm gonna preach. You could stay and go away and stay away. It doesn't bother me. Because it's high time that the members of the church rally together for this finished work. Amen. Christ wants to revive us and to make us into what he have us to be. Jesus says, I am the resurrection of life. If you are dead and cold, my friends, you can talk to Jesus. He will bring you back to life. Yes. Glory. Don't blame nobody for your spiritual state. In fact, once you are spiritual, nothing could move you or harm you. Amen. Nothing. It's only nothing nobody could say by the grace of God that could upset me yes. for me to leave the church. I didn't join this church because I wanted to join this church, my friends. I joined because Jesus took me out. Amen. Who got to be a blessing me? You. If I ask every one of you for hundred dollars right now, none of you want to give me it. Why? You can't give me hundred dollars, but you go out to be a place of me. Jesus died for me, and what I feel inside, nobody can quench it by the grace of God. So no matter what you say or what you do, what I am is because of Christ. So you can get mad and a pop man and praising God. That's you. Still there with your cold self. It doesn't bother me. Because I didn't come here to sing for you. I didn't come here to worship you. I came to worship God. Amen. I am the resurrection of the life. He that believed in me though you were dead, yes, shall he live. Verse 26 says. Verse 26 says. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall, shall never, never yeah. die. Jesus says, believe thou this. Yes. How could you die when Jesus is in you? Yes. He's life. So when you're cold and indifferent, somebody else mashing the corn and you're just hyper. Yeah. You need Jesus. Amen. 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 Hey, you don't sit up inside. Amen. Are you with me? I'm with you. Because Jesus loves us. Amen. Yeah, what you say here? Amen. I'll call me love you. That's what verse 27. She said unto him, Yeah, Lord. I believe. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Come on, say it with her. I believe. I believe. Come on, say it with her. I believe. I believe. Hallelujah. The door of the cry 
Christ, the Son of God, which shall come into this world, into the world. Verse 27 says, this thing getting more sweet. Verse 27. Verse 28. Let's go. And when she had said, so said, she went, she went away and called Mary, her sister, secretly saying, the master is come and come us down, call us for thee. Verse 20, 29 says, as soon as she heard that she arose quickly and came unto him. Let's go on. Now Jesus was not yet come into the tomb, but was in the place where Martha met him. Verse 31. Verse 31. The Jews, then which were with her in the house, and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, she got onto the grave to weep there. Let's go. Then when Mary, then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying the same thing. Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. And every leader in the church must think the same way. I want to talk to the leaders now. You got to buckle up on yourself. Say amen, leaders. Are you with me? You know sometimes as leaders we beat the church. But the church doesn't get time to beat us. Are you hearing me? Elders. It is time to straighten up. And get your act together. Yes. Amen, amen. Be leaders. Amen. Be men who love the word. Amen. Who can expand on the word. Yes. Don't take it for granted that I'm just a leader by name. Because God took a donkey to talk to a prophet. God don't need you. If you're a leader, Stand up for principles. Amen. Stand up because God called you in such an office so that you will feed God's church with knowledge and understanding. Are you here, Yes. yes. Man, you still have to shake my hand when I go outside. Yes. 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 Because I'm your friend. Yes. And only a friend that's telling the truth. Yes. Lead by example. Yes. And if I wasn't leading by example, my two sons will not be so close to me and they won't love the Lord as they are today. Amen. Lead by example. Amen. Yes. The Bible says, she said, if you were here, man, I want to die. Let's go. The ten day more sweet. Jesus, therefore saw her weeping and the Jews also weeping which came with her. He groaned in the spirit and was troubled. Ladies and gentlemen, and Jesus had to groan. Mercy. It's pain you're going through. And when the church is causing God pain, we got to think and watch ourselves. When Jesus have to cry, ladies and gentlemen, and this word groan came up in the Bible also when it says that the spirit also make an infirmity uh, in succession for us with groanings yeah. that cannot be uttered. When Jesus have to go through pain to see the state that the church is in, and you have to groan inside, ladies and gentlemen, it hurts his heart. We cannot remain in this lukewarm condition. We cannot, my friends. So you grow in the spirit. We come back to the Jews. Let's go. On. Verse 30, 34. And said, Where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Verse 35. Verse 35. Verse 35. The Bible says, Jesus wept. 
He didn't just groan. But he cried. It's the first time Jesus cried in the Bible. He cried there because his church was hurting. And he cried one time again when he stood up on the mountains and he looked down and he saw the temple in Jerusalem. The temple that the love, the temple that was built with overlaid with gold, my friends. And when the sun hit it, it lit up like it was on fire. And the, the Jews, they, they, they loved this building so much, they forget the love of God. And Jesus looked down and he cried and said, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Hold on! When I gather you as a hen, gather the chick on the wings, and you will not, your house shall be left unto you desolate. My friend, Jesus saw the state of the church, and Jesus wept. You know what the Jew says? And the Jew says something. Let's go home. The Jew says, let's go on, verse 36. Then said the Jews, behold, how he loved him. You think the Jews did care anything about Lazarus? Back then when somebody died, they used to hire mourners to come and weep. They get paid. So they try to cry. Long tears snap as though they care something. And there are people like that in God's church. Yes, you shout the amen, but when it's time to go, you enjoy yourself. Amen. Huh? Amen. They didn't care, but Lazarus and care, but Jesus, they were paid yes. to cry yes. and to mourn. And then when they saw when Jesus cried, they said, Oh, how we love him. But they didn't care about it. And they start the ball again and groan as though they were feeling something. It's like it's like those undertakers. My friends, you can preach what in a funeral, it don't touch no undertaker. You notice that? It don't bother them because they get so accustomed bearing people that no matter what you say about God, it have no effect on them. It's like when Israel, every Thursday morning, over 70,000 lambs died in, in, down there in Israel for sacrifice. And then the thing started to get like a ritual. They know they had to kill a lamb, they kill a lamb. But no joy in serving God. They said, oh, how you love him. But verse 37 says, And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused, have caused that even this man should not have died? Verse 38. Jesus therefore again groaning in himself, coming to the grave. It was a cave and a stone was laid upon it. Verse 39. Jesus says, Take Ye away the soul. I could go on and on with that. Take it away. Why does Jesus wants the stone to be rolled away? So that he can reach you. And that there are storms in our lives. That is a humbugging God's Holy Spirit from using you. You know what the stone is. We don't have to go through that. It could be a creek. It could be a trap. It could be a friend. And my friends, if you believe that the friend that you have in church, I'm talking about church people now, seven eleven, you believe the person you have in, that that sit next to you in church, my friends, is your friend. When you call to go in the field and they don't want to go, that's not your friend. Amen. It's our enemy of God. So I could reach you. Yeah. You know what Martha said? 
My brother and sister of him that was dead said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh. For he had be dead four days. Even when Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. And she said, In the last day, she said, I know you are the Son of God, and whatsoever you do, you, you just do. She still didn't believe. That the church will rise again, and there are people that are negative in the church. Yes, negative! Everything the church wants to do that is positive for the church's benefit and for the world's benefit, they are always negative people. Right. They never show up. You know when they never show up? Only when they have to do their program. Yeah. They come late for all the other programs. But when they have to do their program, they come. Early. Amen. I expect everybody to come early. Mm -hmm. And then they beat the church for coming late. Yeah. Look how late we, we start. We have to improve. But that person, when somebody else doing their program, come late. Yeah. Mm. Am I talking to you? Yes. Huh? Yes. 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 So, Lord, it's four days now. By this time, he's thinking, let's go through the sequence again. When a church is not at work, what happens? Sick. And guess what? Sick. Sick. Then what happens? Falls asleep. asleep. Then what happens? Yeah. It dies. What happens after? Sick. Sick. Huh? Sick. It is buried. Sick. And then what happens? Sick. It stinks. It's the same church God talks to the in Revelation chapter 3. Same church. The same lukewarm church God is talking about in this book. With the story of Lazarus. In the same Jonah it talking about. He went down to Tarsus. He went down there and he buys his fear. Bought his fear. Went down in the boat. And he fell fast asleep. And when we are not involved in the work of God, we will go down. Yes, sir. We promise. We promise. Until we finally die. You come into church, you know. But you're dead. You know this thing, Mr. Statusman? You have to be doing things in church and saying things in church that have no meaning. And all you want to do is just upset people. Are you ready? Yeah. You stink! <laughs> but even when she was saying, by this time, he stink at Jesus said to her, didn't I told you? Only believe. Huh? He reassured her faith in God once more. Verse 40. Yet, I thank you for it. 
Some of you were husbands. Thank you. And you were wife. When I see you say, Lord, I thank you for the man you're about to send in my life. I don't know where he's coming from, but Lord, I know that he loves you and he's going to come into my life. I give you praise. Hallelujah. But you're on your knees all the time. God, I need a man in my life. Yes. <laughs> help me, Jesus. I can't take this thing. Too much cold weather. Lord Jesus, help me. It's time to stop giving God praise. <laughs> Jesus thanked his father first. And verse 42 says now. And I know that thou hearest me all this. But because of these people which stand by, I said it that they may believe that thou hast sent me. So Jesus is about to do something that nobody have ever done. Verse 43. Verse 43. And when he had thus, when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is so sweet. You know, Jesus stood there. Now, if Jesus had just said, Come forth! Listen, it's not all the dead. Not all the dead would have come up. All you know is selling this thing. You feel it's all the dead would have come up? Everything that had life and was living on the earth would have come forth. You see all these doors that have wood there? Then I go back and find the tree it came from. All the material here that came from trees, things that were living, this building would have just disappeared. Every plant, all the lawns that we have ever cut, every ants, every butcher, every giraffe, Every lion, ladies and gentlemen, everything that had life from Adam right to that point, ladies and gentlemen, will have come from the grave. Perfect, man. Every piece of wood that was burnt, oh. you know, the kind of chaos will happen with the earth. Because he is the resurrection and the life. But Jesus specified. Who he was calling. He said, Lazarus, I'm asking you this evening, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear your name calling? He's calling you back to life. Lazarus! And the church accustomed, listening to the voice of God, ladies and gentlemen, Lazarus heard his name called from that tomb, and then he heard his name, the blood that was blue. Turn back red. The lungs fill up with air. All the cells in his brains came out and his eyes opened and Lazarus, rigor mortis, reversed itself and Lazarus stood up. Amen. Hallelujah. All the Jews that were laughing when they heard the little rumbling inside the tomb there was a harsh. And Lazarus came forth and he stood at the door of the tomb. Look, look what Jesus said. Let's go. And he that was dead came for bound hand and foot. With what? Grave. With grave clothes. Yeah. And too much of us still have on grave clothes. Mercy. And because you is not a leader, you will not function. Grave clothes. Nobody can talk to you because you are not in charge. Grave clothes! And if you are not, not, not in the office, nothing can go on. Grave clothes! Look at them mud as all they want are in business. There are too many people that are thin skinned when it comes to God and His work. Those people all over Trinidad, they'll leave church, go and visit some other church because they put them back as a elder and put them back as a summer school. That's good. The church is yours. This church belongs to God. Amen. Grave clothes, my friends, and you cannot be saved in grave clothes. No, have mercy. 
He want to wake up our spiritual bones. So what Jesus did? Jesus said unto them, Lose him. He said what? Lose him. Lose him. You know what you know what took place when Lazarus was loose? Let me go to verse 45. And many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the thing which Jesus did. Somebody say amen. amen. Believe on him. Amen. Now listen to this. Jesus came to preach and met him. Just three people alone. So he set up the church and leave the church to continue the gospel. And instead of the church gain members, it lose members. Are you with me? Huh? Jesus came back on the scene. And the moment Jesus came, when Jesus and the church got together, and the church was loose, many of the same Jews that planned to kill him, they did what? They believe on him. It's only when the church and Jesus get together, many people will accept Jesus. People who hate this church with a bitterness will accept Jesus. You cannot do this work without Jesus. It's you and Jesus together. If you try on your own, it will frustrate you because the love of God is not in you. But when you earnestly pray to Jesus and you and Jesus get together and you are lost, many people will accept Christ as the personal savior.